Hi everyone and thank you for joining us again in Mutakamil Financial Track. In the previous lecture we talked about the vendor's details and configuration and now we're going to talk about the additional fields and that's basically uh, the window that you can use to rename the additional fields that you have across the system in the different windows and the different screens. First we choose the window or the screen which contains the additional fields that we want to rename and that's by clicking on the arrow in this field and it brings up all of the screens and the windows that contain additional fields. Those are 11 by the way. Uh, those screens and windows are customer details, item details, sales invoice, uh, payment and receipts voucher, purchases invoice, transfers orders, outgoing orders, purchase requests, purchase orders, sales orders, and uh, perform invoices. For example, we're going to choose the window customer details and it has a tab called extra fields. This contains 10 extra fields. Uh, first, we will click on modify, select the field that you want to rename, and you'll find that you have six different fields for the different languages you can use to rename this field. So. Each single field corresponds to a different language. For example, if you want to rename it uh, in English, you will enter the new name in the English field or the corresponding field to the English language. We'll try with extra field one. Um, let's open up the window customer data. You will find the tab extra fields. So we just want to go there and take a look. You will find that uh, the field that we're about to rename is called extra field one. Now let's go back to additional fields and we will go ahead and rename it. We will change the name to something like, for example, partners. We will save our changes and then go back to the screen customer data. And when we reopen that screen, uh, when we go to the, um, the tab extra fields, uh, which contains the field that we just renamed, we will find that the name had changed to partners. All right, so we will exit this window and go to branches data. And that is the window that we use to add new branches or edit existing branches data. The branches data has to be very accurate and correct uh, because it will come up on your uh, reports and the invoices issued from these branches. We'll click on add a new branch uh, and notice that the financial year will come up automatically. It's the one that we used to sign in. As for branch number, that one is entered manually. But if you used a number that already exists in the system, uh, you will get an error. So each branch number has to be unique. In English branch name, we will enter the branch name in English and the same goes for Arabic branch name. Um, and also the address, you will enter that in Arabic and in English. And in case there is a website for the company or for this branch, we will enter it in website or we, we will enter the URL basically. Uh, and we also type in the branch's email in email. In bank account, you will enter the branch's bank account and you will also need to type in the branch's commercial registration. Tax number one and two are related to the taxes information. The variable branches account statement adds an interface account. Um, the warehouse transfers to and from the branches will reflect on that account or the stock transfers. Uh, that is, of course, if this account and the way it works uh, comply with the company's policy. You can add that account from the chart of accounts and that's by hitting F9 in this field. So to give you guys an example, if the branch number one is transferring some goods to branch number two, the system automatically creates vouchers in the two branches. In branch number one that you are transferring from, uh, from its current account to the stock account of branch number two, which is the branch that is receiving. As for branch number two, the, the, the voucher is going to be um, is going to be from the stock account to the current account of branch number one that is transferring the goods. As for the fields latitude and longitude and GLN, uh, that is where we enter the branch's geographical location. And to add the branch's logo um, or picture or whatever, we will just click twice on that empty box and uh, then browse the computer for the logo and then we will just select it. 
We can also add uh, the branch's telephone number, fax number, and PO box number. And here we can link this branch to the country, city, and region. You will just click on the arrow and select the city or the country or the region. We have a variable called WSI authentic authentication, and if you activate it, then the system will consider this branch as uh, the company's main branch or the headquarters, basically. So after you've entered all of the data, do not forget to save. And new activity is related to adding new activities for the company, which has to be done in agreement with Yemensoft, the developers of the system. Um, when you basically uh, click on this icon, you will just enter the password that will be provided by Yemensoft, and this opens a new window uh, so you can start entering the details. First, the financial year uh, for this activity, and that is entered in the fields from and to. You will enter the financial year and month. The activity number is going to be automatic after we enter all the information and save. As for branch number, that is going to be set to the one that you logged in with. And you will enter the branch name in Arabic and in English. So is the address. Website is for entering the company's website. And you'll also enter the telephone number, fax number, and PO box. Now we'll move on to the screen SMS settings. Uh, we can write text messages in these fields and then by activating the variable um, message text, the system will allow you to send these texts to whoever you select from the database. You can also send the text via email by activating this variable. And you also need to enter the email address that we're sending from in this field and the email server as well. You can send these messages um, via SMS by activating SMS. Uh, you will also select whom you want to send this SMS to, whether it's going to be your customers, vendors, or representatives, and that is by activating the corresponding variable. So if you want to send it to your customers, you will just need to activate the variable that is corresponding to your customers. The next window we have is companies, and we use this one to edit the company's information. If you want to add a new company, that has to be in agreement with Yemensoft, but if you want to edit existing data, then just click on Modify. You can change the name in local name, and foreign name as well, or even add an abbreviation or a shorter name if that's applicable. Enter the company's address here, and here we enter the email, and in case you have a website, you will just enter the URL here. The rest of the fields are related to the geographic location, and that is the country, city, and um, region, and so on. That's the end of today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and we will see you again.